In this video, we're going to go through setting up a DMX script to run on the FireTech system. What we have here on the table is a FireTech FTH48FX module with all the bells and whistles. It has the two wire, it has GPS, it has time code, it also has a DMX output. I have here a Kindle Fire um, with a CSV file shown here on the screen. I've already done a video going through the basic scripting of a pyro uh, CSV file or a pyro script. This one here is DMX and it's very similar. We've got ID, rail, channel, and time. Now the ID here we just have one module so we're going to set this one to ID1. Uh, we could do this with multiple modules as long as they had a DMX. We could intermix uh, DMX modules and pyro modules and this module here can fire both py pyro events and DMX events. The rails for a DMX event really don't pertain. We just default all of those to one. The channel is where you have to pay attention. For DMX, channel one is 101. So this first event here is actually channel eight. But in the script, it'll say 108. And that is the flamethrower we have here on the left. Channel eight, 10, 12, and 14 from left to right. Now I've laid these flamethrowers down pointing towards us. There is no fuel in them. Um, that wouldn't be a good thing. Um, but we will be able to see the spark units as we run the script. I also have two PAR lights. These PAR lights are both on channel 1. If we scroll farther down in the script, we see channel 1 here, 101. Now the PAR lights take a number of channels in order to run. Channel 1 turns them on. Channel 2 gives it uh, the color. Channel 3 gives it the rate if there's a strobe. And so uh, you'll see channel 1, 2, and 3 grouped together. There's another DMX help video that I have that goes through some of the information on the DMX values. Uh, but my intent is not to go through the specifics of the DMX um, setup. Um, you can find that information on the web if you're not familiar with it. So for the FireTech script, just to show what we have here, at time 0, we have the flamethrower on the left going off. At 200 milliseconds, 400 milliseconds, 600 milliseconds, they'll go off across from left to right. Then they'll go back at 1200, 14, 1600, and 1800, they'll go back the other direction. Then all four of them at a three second interval hit. At three and a half, they all hit. At four seconds, and four and a half, they all hit. And then at five seconds, the LEDs, or the not the LEDs, but the PAR lights. At five seconds, the PAR lights will start strobing. Now I've also left these all as sequence zero, and I think the next video I'll do is uh, um, we'll go through sequences. But the DMX values have to be put in under the value um, header here. Now, for these flamethrowers, it takes anything over uh, a value of 30 to fire them. Um, you can see how I sorted that out on the DMX help video. And for the duration here in tenths of a second, put down two. So you can see two for all the flamethrowers, 20 for uh, the, the strobe lights. So we have two second uh, strobing on the strobe lights and they're at different colors. So know how well you can see this here but if we look at the very bottom channel 3 here uh, 200 that's the rate of the strobe channel 2 at 150 that value there on channel 2 uh, tells us what the color is now there's some information in this manual that came with the par light on how to set that up I also show you how to use a DMX board in the DMX help video I've gone ahead and created custom labels 
as well in these custom columns, effect, position, and color. So for flames, it's identified as flames or lights. For position here, it's kind of a mix of stuff, but if it's going left to right or right to left, or if it's all four of them, whether it's a strobe, and then I also indicated whether it's flame or what the color of the strobes are in this file. So I have this saved. And what we'll do now is we'll plug it in. And I've already got it plugged into the Kindle Fire here with the OTG or on, to go, on the go cable. Now we're gonna fire this up as a master module. So to do that, uh, when we fire it up, we're gonna start it and hold down the green forward button. While it's doing that, I'm gonna go to my FT control app. I'm gonna give this ID one. So I'll go ahead and just hit the green button again. It's acknowledging the USB connection. I wanna let it connect. We've gone into master mode on the module. And now I'm going to load the script into the module. So I'll load script and I'll do this through the ES file explorer. And I have this under documents and the file that I'm after here is this 310 FireTech DMX script remote with the FT control app version three. Gonna load that up to all modules. And there we go, this loaded up. Um, I've got 33 events listed in here. Um, you can see I have the filters for the custom filter showed up as effects. I could filter out flames or light, position, color. Um, also show you this filter here is for DMX and pyro. There is no pyro events. I, um, that's all to remove these filters is a long hold. Now, now that we're in test, we can load this into the module. Shows us all 33 events loaded. On the screen here now we have PRGD, D for DMX. We'll go ahead and arm the system and start it. Oh, and that's it. That was pretty quick. Just 11 second script, but it was kind of fun to do. I hope that uh, gives you uh, some help on how to set up and run a DMX script with your FireTech system.